Hey everybody, Texas Stroker Airlines is performing shop Lone Star Mopars.com Monday night out here in the shop and uh, doing some tidying up, some organizing, and I thought it was a good time to talk about socket rails. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, basically two systems, the Ernst Socket Boss and then the MTS Lock Socket. Been really happy with both of those. However, uh, recently from Harbor Freight, there was a promotion. I picked this up. It's a really, really long rail, and it holds 16 sockets. It would hold way more than that, but there's simply not enough pegs. Uh, case in point, this sucker is going to clock in at 18 inches. With 3 8 pegs, you can, you can hold more than 16 sockets, right? So, they don't sell pegs. Now... I was uh, doing some checking around before I purchased this, and why I purchased this is as a compliment to this one. When you think, hey, what's the deal? Well, it's the same type of a setup where that has a magnet on the end and in the middle. This one kind of has them at both ends because it's so much shorter. How short is this one? Well, let's find out. This one's going to clock in at 12 inches, essentially, and very strong magnets. The thing that's special about this one is what's on the flip side. It's from Koken. This is a Zeal socket set. These are their super stubby uh, 3H drive metric. And comparing this end to end, essentially, we've got six extra inches of real estate there. This is holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 sockets with a good bit of space on both ends, right? You could easily fit another socket here and probably one to two, depending on dry, you know, uh, openings size, if you will. So. As I was playing around, I uh, was looking at these, and I thought, man, where did those come from? I'm trying to remember. I have them in a little uh, Ernst tray in the U.S. General Master Tech, and they're half-inch drive, so you're thinking, like, well, they didn't come from Koken. That's Harbor Freight's U.S. General 3H drive. Where did it come from? Well, they would have come from this right here. And what is this, you say? Well, that is an Olsa Tools anodized aluminum rail. You can't see it super well. I'm going to slide it back down into view for you. And it's just a situation. This is the El Cheapo that you can get really, really cheap. Pittsburgh set. Not chrome vanadium, or chrome molly, but chrome vanadium, rather. And the big selling point on those, to me, aside from the price point, is simply since they're vanadium, they have a thinner wall. My half-inch drive stuff, I take that seriously. It's got fat sidewalls sometimes, so fat you can't get to the fastener, which is a problem. <laughs> and, uh, that's where a chrome vanadium comes in, thinner sidewall, right? And that's exactly where these came from. And uh, clearly we we're kind of out of space there. Maybe you could fit a smaller socket on that end, but maxed it out, and there were three extra pegs. Cool. Keep them. For what? Reasons that you may never know until far in the future. <laughs> so, coming in next, we've got kind of a similar take to the Olsa. This is from Astro. It's their Nano Impact Sockets on a black rail instead. And the reason that I bring all of this up to you is if I were to just rip this socket off, okay? I want you to look at that peg right there, okay? And if we spin it around... <laughs> you, underneath the ball detent, will eventually, if it focuses, see pat dot, which is again patent, right? It, trust me, it's there. We're not going to waste time. It's, it's really there. You'll see it later. In fact, I could probably just show it to you here. <laughs> so, this is half inch, that's three eighths, same thing, okay? Patented, cool. And I was like, you know, those, those look really, really similar. And there's a reason for that. Uh, what I did is I thought, you know, I want to see if I can put these half-inch rails, uh, these half-inch pegs, if you will, on this rail. So uh, I would recommend, if you care about the finish on what you're working on, factoring that in. I'm kind of in a hurry here. <laughs> so uh, this might also go flying, which is unfortunate. But the way this Astro Rail works, which is just like our Olsa ones, it just has a tiny little end cap on it, right? And it's probably the worst one to pick to mess with because it's real fin- Gah! <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but it's exactly what I thought would happen that happened. I popped the end cap off quite literally. It flew across, not across, but oh, a foot or two behind me and landed on the hood of the duster. These are again, half inch drive sockets or socket clips, whatever you want to call them. And if I take this and I line it up, 
beautiful, which is sort of hard to do through the camera. I can actually nest it just like I can with the 3.8 stuff, right? So case in point, I can come back here, I can pull off this Pittsburgh, and I can stick it here, okay? The only thing that's making this not factory insulation is the clip which flew off and is on the hood of the duster behind me. <laughs> so, you're thinking like, okay, well cool, but those are like identical rails. This is black anodized, that's orange anodized. What's this, what's the moral of the story here? Well, if we come in and we look at the Koken in the US General, aside from the extra six inches and the fact this one says Koken and that one does not, they look really similar too, don't they? I sure think they do. So in this instance, you have to kind of dig and I will warn you right now, when you do this, it's not the magnet you have to worry about, but this foam padding, this really nice foam padding that keeps you from scratching surfaces because of the magnets, you might very well wind up releasing that. One side is probably going to have less overhang than the other, so you might factor that in when you pick which end you want to start prying on. But essentially, if we can remove the end cap here, we can get into doing some cool stuff. So same thing here, minus it flying across the shop. I'll just remove that. And I can come right over here to these Olsa pegs. We've got two of them now, because one of them went on to our um, Astro rail. And if I take it, I can easily position it, just like these others on this US General rail. Slide it down if we can and we've got a half inch drive peg here so what does this tell you well that means that this went on to this u.s general rail and so the olsa anodized aluminum pegs fit this fancy u.s general well <laughs> this koken does the same thing. It's essentially the same product line, if you will. It's branded Koken, but the pegs all interchange. Again, ask me how I know because I've done it before. So, in the event, let's say like right here, this skipped the nine. If I want to add the nine, I can pry this off and I can slide one of these US Generals in place here. Again, uh, be leery before you like start tearing into this stuff to kind of cover your eyes, make sure you're not going to tear anything up that you'll regret. But what this is going to allow me to do, I have a situation in the Master Tech where these are here, and I don't want to take them off, but I have the prototype MTS in orange, little friction peg socket holders. And I've got them set up, but I currently have the surface drive, right? You know, kind of a specialty coking socket. Shouldn't take the paint off type of a thing. <laughs> and uh, it's really good with like body components, hoods, things of that nature that you might take off. And since it's more of a specialty socket than say just six or 12, and I want to leave these zeal sockets on this rail, I thought, hey, to get them off of the friction peg socket holder, which they're currently on, I like to put them on a Koken rail. Koken rails uh, are going to range, you know, like 30, 50, 60 bucks, depending on the length and the number of pegs. This is like $19.99 and you can get it on sale for $15. Now, it doesn't say Koken, but other than that, it looks exactly the same, right? So what I'm going to do is take this US General Rail, that's essentially a spitting image of our Koken, and I'm going to put the surface drive socket set onto it. So I'm going to, I'm fighting a low battery light, but I'm going to run over there and make that happen. I'll cut the tag off with these little Stavilla <laughs> side cutters, and we'll have a pretty sweet little setup to show you. All right, so snipped that off, slides off the top real easy. Apologies, I would have typically done a time lapse there, but uh, with the low battery light, didn't want to chance it. If I lower it down, though, you get to see the payoff. Again, these are the surface drive, which I consider kind of a specialty socket, sort of like these super stubby zeals. And since they're going to stay on that rail, it makes sense to have these here. Now, 719, no skips is the way I've assembled this. And by way of doing that, we've got 13 sockets. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which should mean what? That we've got three extra pegs, and we do. Why? Because this is a half-inch one from the Olsa rail to prove our proof of concept that we can swap these around. 
And if you note, I've got a little bit of room here, kind of a thumb thumb pad, if you will. If we, t and I've got space between the sockets, if I just go ahead and kind of compact that down all the way even, and then slide it down a little bit more, sort of replicate where we were at. Again, kind of have my thumb pad. I've got these compacted just about like you see there. If I can reach around and grab the Stanley, you're gonna like what you see. Because when I come in, end to where the sockets are. So again, I've got enough space for my thumb, basically an inch. And look, we're at the 10, 10 and a half inch mark. The foot is what we want to keep in mind. The 12 inch mark, why? That's what this rail is. That means if we want to replicate this and have it beautifully arranged for OCD lifestyle in your toolbox, you can clip off six inches here. We get three bonus clips, which we can use on another rail. Uh, you could use them, you could put weird 3 8 like pressure sensor sockets or something on that six inch strip. Or you could leave it long in the event that, hey, you know, you decide surface drive's awesome, I need, you know, whatever smaller size or I want to get a larger size type of a thing. But the real payoff here, if I line that up for us, is simply this. You can kind of see what we've done. Again, roughly dead even here, thumb pad on each side just for picking and moving the rail. Sockets take up roughly the same amount of space. Again, we can spread them out if we wanted to use the whole rail. We can keep them compact, whatever we want to do. But I've taken these specialty coking sockets and paired more specialty with them for $15 from US General versus an expensive coking rail. I'm not sure that the Koken magnets might not be a little bit better, just for the sake of checking. Pretty aggressive there. <laughs> Let's do the same thing to the U.S. General. We'll come right into the end. Yeah. I think the Koken, I mean, I think it's, it's slight. You know, it's not like it's night and day difference, but it is noticeable there. And it could just be a situation, you know, maybe it's pulling differently, but... If we took coking off of that, you would have no idea. Like if I put coking here, you would never know. And this isn't about like cheaping out, it's just, hey, yeah, this rail and this rail are practically identical, just like this one from Astro here, accepts the Olsa stuff and the Olsa stuff accepts the Astro. That's not a coincidence, right? This isn't me putting Ernst stuff or, you know, labeled lock -a socket pegs in place here. Whoever's making these, the manufacturer, everything sort of integrates. So like this half inch stuff from Olsa, I could put on this coke and rail. If we had, you know, like we wanted to jump up in the stubbies to a half inch 13 millimeter or something, as long as there's space on the rail, I can use these pegs. Uh, that could be advantageous because again, US General, we can't get the spare pegs. Or if you've got coking and you want to add one or two, it might be advantageous to you if you got a Harbor Freight nearby, buy one of these rails, pull the pegs off of it, throw them on your coking, all right? If you've got an Olsa rail, kind of like I did, and you've got a bunch of like clips that hopefully you keep for reasons like these, whether those break or you have something else come up, it's sort of interchangeable. And that's something I don't think a lot of people are going to be aware of. How am I aware of it? Well, I looked at it and thought, hey... <laughs> that all looks really similar. There's no way it could possibly just interchange, right? And it does. So, uh, the Astro Rail looks like the Olsa, and then the US General looks like the Koken, and everything goes back and forth. And keep in mind, you can pull from the Olsa Rail and put it on the Koken, or the US General, or the Astro, and you can do vice versa. So, just because these are sort of a more advanced, kind of fancier rail with the magnetic backing and everything, the clips are the same, the rail tracking is the same. The more you know, right? That's kind of where we stand with this stuff. So, um, might help you stretch your dollar a little bit more. Might help you kind of, if you wanted to add a seven or like in this instance where they skipped the nine and it drives you crazy or maybe you need the nine type of a thing, come in, you've got your US General that you can do stuff with. If you don't need all 16 pegs, you can pull one off, put it here you know sky's kind of the limit there so i'm gonna throw this stuff back together but i thought this was just kind of a cool quick little video that does two things number one it lets me do this so i can better organize the box and number two tips you off to what i discovered which could save you a good chunk of time money and trouble so that's what i try to do here on youtube from time to time at least 
But uh, I do hope you enjoyed. It's getting really late here. I'm at a run and workout and uh, shower. Got work in the morning. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Were you aware of this? And be honest. Don't just say, oh, I knew that six years ago. <laughs> it's something you, you might not have known, and I do hope it helps you if you were unaware. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you've done this, if you've got ideas, if you know of like a different style socket holder that same pegs can interchange, by all means, tell people. Uh, I'm only familiar with what I've got, so in this case, also U.S. General Koken and Astro's rails. Um, so keep that in mind, and it might be a deal. Like these nano sockets, I don't really plan to leave them on these rails. They're sort of heavy and awkward. I now have these rails free, but I'll also know that, hey, I can put them on the U.S. General, which desperately needs more clips. 16 clips is not enough for an 18-inch rail, in my opinion, with 3H drive sockets. So there's a solution, right? Um, all sorts of little ways you can look at this, manipulate it to your advantage, and I do hope you do so. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you like multiple things I do here, I encourage you to subscribe. If you do that, ring the bell and jump your charger across the creek. They just might notify you. we got new videos out every Wednesday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. Uh, again, thoughts and opinions, feel free to leave them down below. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great weekend. And most importantly, I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop. As I was going back through my reassembly process, I realized we'd probably be beneficial to you to showcase this. So this is an extra off the Ulsa rail. This is an extra off of the U.S. General that I just pulled off. Obviously, it's half versus three-eighths, but we're not concerned about that. We're concerned about that little C-clip profile, right? So it's sort of an arch, and you think, well, that doesn't seem right. I've got these flat rails, and... Uh, you know, they, they don't have an arch. That's 100% correct. And if I rip this socket off, you can hopefully see there that there's the bulge, right? It kind of jumps up of its own accord, which is what we want to see have happen. Because if I grab the Ulsa rail, which is super awkward, this is why I like locking socket rails. But if I match these up, you can see it's roughly the same profile, right? We've proven that they interchange. The catch on the Olsa, and I've got to give them credit versus this Astro one, these have a plastic boot, a rubber cap, if you will. And while that's cheaper and slides off easier and could be a detrimental thing, these fly off. Like when you pry those off the Astro rail, catch it. Have a buddy nearby, get a hand, do something, because they go flying. Uh, I put this one back on and I had it upside down. I didn't want the rail to be unbalanced, so I took it off. It flew, not behind me this time, but in front of me, hit the wall, so be leery of that. But this profile that we just showcased to you, I'm going to now take the Koken rail, and I'm going to take the U.S. General. I'm going to put them side by side as best I can, fighting the magnetism and weird camera angles. But see what I'm talking about? See that arch that we saw that we showcased previously on the pegs and then these side by side? Which again, I just cannot do a better job of because of the magnets. That's what we care about. That's what is going to make all of these clips functionally swap over. Case in points, a little easier to showcase it here. Where that arch doesn't seem like it would work on the Olsa and the Astro, it does. And you can kind of see it mirrors this beautifully so again whatever company is behind this the OEM the actual manufacturer if you buy this fancy rail you're probably not thinking all oh, those people that opted for the cheap aluminum one you know that's that's ridiculous well the pegs interchange it's a thing of beauty for the end user and the consumer it's just not well advertised or known so with that said that's that that's all I've got for you uh, like I said, getting super late here, so uh, I'm going to call it a wrap. I'm super glad the camera uh, battery did not die on me, but uh, yeah, these little gems right here, and I assume quarter drive, which to my credit, I don't have, so I can't say it for sure, but given that the quarter and the three-eighths swap out and interchange, I'm going to say three-eighths and half if I butchered that. I'm going to say the quarter is likely got the same design element to it. So if we had a rail, maybe a blue Ulsa rail, I could put it on the half inch flat, I could put it on the Astro flat, anodized aluminum iterations, and I could come in and I could put it on these magnetic rails and just literally, you could go quarter, three eighths, half over and over again. So, super cool. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you out. <clears throat> and uh, with that said, I'm gonna get inside, 
catch you back here for more from the shop.